A successful healthcare journey to improve quality of life, response to treatment and increase adherence, treatment adherence, is um, education and empowerment, accessibility, engagement and implementation, and psychosocial and financial support. Education empowerment lies with the kind of information that is being communicated to the patient and caregivers. Um, how uh, understandable is this information? How accurate is this information? And does this information serve them in the sense that can they actually utilize this information and do something about their cancer diagnosis or managing their quality of life? And does that information empower them? Cancer patients, family members feel helpless and hopeless when they hear a cancer diagnosis. Uh, and feeling empowered is far from anything and any emotion that they're feeling at the moment, which is most probably just complete and utter confusion just fear, anxiety, and um, just almost feeling like the only answer is the end of the road and nothing else beyond that, which is very, very far from the truth. So the kind of communication and content that is disseminated to a patient at the time of diagnosis and then beyond that is very important. Um, and is that information empower empowering them, which is even more important. The second element is accessibility, engagement, and implementation. Um, providing access to the right experts uh, who can actually help them uh, in their cancer journey is important. Um, providing engagement uh, and creating platforms that can help patients engage with their care providers um, at any point of time and immediately is imperative. And this is most important, which is implementation. How um, is the patient taking all the information, guidance, support from their therapist, from their cancer specialist, and how are they implementing it into their daily lives? This is where the biggest issue lies, that um, you know we give them a lot of information, um, patients do their consultations, they meet their nutritionists and um, you know counselors, but there is no one there to help them implement this on a daily basis. And that's when we see the change, is when there is a support system that actually makes them make the changes in their, in their everyday lives, with, which has a massive impact on their quality of life and actually improving and expediting healing and recovery. And third is, of course, uh, psychosocial and financial support. Unfortunately, um, the uh, healthcare journey of a cancer patient um, is unsuccessful because of these factors. One is uh, obviously how they feel on a psychological state of mind and uh, how their environment is. Is it conducive to uh, helping them heal or is it something that creates a hindrance and obstruction in their healing journey? and also the financial support. Unfortunately, cancer is an extremely expensive disease and providing uh, an access to any kind of financial support, and that could just be by educating a patient on how to manage their finances better, uh, can be extremely, extremely helpful. So all these three factors may make a massive difference in quality of life of a patient, in how a patient responds to treatment, and how a patient uh, actually sticks to a treatment protocol and uh, increases treatment and medication adherence.